Hello internet people. In this video, I'll talk about 5 reasons your website is loading slowly. Hercules, tell them how they're gonna feel after this video. Disappointed! Tip sweat punch. By far the greatest reason your website is loading slowly is because your WordPress website is not caching the pages. And cache is just a way for your browser and server to save certain files in its uh, short-term memory. Here's your browser and there's your server and that's your browser cache. So when someone visits your website, your browser is able to store some of the files on your visitor's computer so that if they visit another page on your site, it will load quicker as some of the files needed to build the page are already in visitor's browser storage. For example, your website's logo, which appears probably on all pages. Now what I just described was browser cache, but there's also server cache, which is basically storing plain HTML files on your server so that it can serve them quicker to your users without the need to go to the database for information that doesn't change that often, like your blog post. Arnie, can you just summarize what I just said? You should not drink and create cash. The good thing is that you can easily detect it by using the uh, Google's page insights and it will tell you if you have missing browser cache, which files are already cached and what is not. Uh, for server side, it's a bit harder, but you need to just ma make sure you've installed a plugin like V3 Total Cache uh, or another caching plugin. They're pretty easy to install and uh, you have few settings, but after that, your website is going to be so much faster. I guarantee it. Come on, don't bullshit me. The second reason your website is loading slowly is because you're using third part uh, scripts like, I don't know, if you have ads or maybe some iframes like YouTube, those take time to load. So uh, one thing to combat this is to check that the script that you're uh, loading is actually using async tag in the HTML. It looks something like this. And you can achieve it by installing a plugin called async javascript it's easy to set up and install and then you're ready to go unfortunately you cannot cache your ads or iframes because uh, for example ads they always change you cannot cache them because you need to change them every time a user opens a new page but i know you guys treating your ads like this and as a bonus i recommend you check out this plugin it's called uh, asset cleanup and it's really cool because you're able to basically disable different scripts and CSS based on the page and then you're able to disable site-wide things like for example the the emojis or if you don't use the good Gutenberg you can also disable the Gutenberg CSS or you can just go to individual page and disable certain uh, certain scripts and CSS there so for example if on your home page you never use emojis then you can just disable them for that page but they keep them alive for posts and it's really useful so that you can pinpoint where you want to load the scripts for example one thing if you have a form and it's only on one page then it doesn't make sense to load all that script on all the pages you can just specify in this plugin to load the contact form script on the contact form arnie what do you think about the plugin I'm not shooting on you. Okay, and I'm happy you're not. The third reason your website is loading slowly is because of the server. So in this case, it's your web hosting. Now I know nobody's gonna invest into full on dedicated server when they're starting out. Uh, but there's a big differences between web hosting providers and the server response time. And you can check these. There's a lot of studies done on it or a test done by different people. But basically, if you invest in a good web hosting, you're going to have better servers, less people with the shared hosting. And that means quicker response times. Now, I recommend either using Hostpapa or a SiteGround. Those are great. I have a video about that. You can check it out and see which one you like more. And you'll appear on your screen now. I fear that we are at present pointing in the wrong direction. And you'll appear on your screen now. And to detect this, you can use Google's Page Insights just to see what is the server response time. If it's in the red, yellow, or green. So the better your hosting provider is, the, the greener it gets, basically. No shit. Hey, if you've been enjoying this video so far, I would appreciate if you could hit that like button. That will help me with the YouTube algorithm. So just smash it. Thanks a lot. 
The fourth reason your website is loading slowly is because your page is huge. Usually this is because of uncompressed images or in some cases also if you have a lot of code loading that you don't actually even need and it's not compressed or minified, then yeah, it's gonna take some time to load. But uh, the first uh, suspect is always the images. So make sure that you have a WordPress plugin that can compress images when you upload any image on the server. So it makes it so much easier. You don't even need to think about it. It will always just compress them. Uh, another thing is to make sure that you, you, you inspect what is the biggest image you actually need on your site. So you drag it, drag it a little bit and see how big the image is. So if you right click on the image and then choose to inspect, there you can see that if you find the image itself, it has these scaled and also the original size. Um, look at the scaled one and then that's what the original should be. So don't make your images too big in size and make sure you compress them. And if you think your code is not minimized, you can use W3 Total Cache to uh, handle this for you. So that goes in with, together with the caching. It can also minify JavaScript and CSS files. So that's easy, easy to do. Arnie, how do you minify your files? That's for taking too much space. The last reason your website is loading so slowly is because you have just the bad plugins in there. So the code itself is bad. Uh, you can test this by disabling all your plugins. If you have already caching, just leave it on, but the rest you can uh, uh, switch off. Okay, that sounded a little bit like this. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, 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 that, 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 you, 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 you could don't. And then see if you have a, a big improvement on, on your website. If it does, then you need to start uh, enabling them one by one and then see which one actually is the, well, the one that's causing the issue, right? That's your plugin that you need to disable uh, or you just need to switch it to something more lightweight. And there's so many plugins for all kinds of things. There's usually another alternative for pretty much anything. So I'm sure you'll be fine. And since we're talking about the plugins, uh, you should also check what version of PHP you're using because a lot of web hostings are still using the PHP 5, but you should be a, at least on 7. To do that, install a plugin called Display PHP Version. It's super lightweight and you can delete it after. And once you've installed it, go to your dashboard in WordPress and you'll see the PHP version right here. Now, if yours starts with 5 or lower, then you need to switch it to PHP 7. And usually you can do that through your hosting provider cPanel. I'm using GoDaddy here. You just uh, search for PHP in the cPanel and then in the GoDaddy, for example, they have it here, PHP version. It could be hidden under another folder, but just Google where it is located on your hosting provider. My name is Robert, and if you're trying to master the digital world, then hit the subscribe button and get the latest updates.